Father and son remained in jail for the death of a Brunswick man. We're talking about Ahmad Arbery. Grant McMichael and his son Travis have retained lawyers for their defense in the Arbery case. Last week, a disturbing video that you see here of the shooting prompted the Georgia Bureau of Investigation to look into the shooting. The McMichaels were arrested days later. Today, an attorney spoke for the accused shooter, Travis McMichael. On your side, Troy Kless joins us live with more tonight. Troy. Thank you, Anthony. Attorneys for both Greg McMichael and Travis McMichael. We heard from them for the first time today. And attorneys for Travis McMichael are saying that their client is innocent until proven otherwise. Robert Rubin and James Sheffield, attorneys for accused shooter Travis McMichael, speaking Thursday. When asked why their clients felt the need to confront Arbery in a, quote, vigilante way, they say they are working to learn exactly what happened that day. We understand that what you're saying is one of the thoughts, opinions, or maybe the facts that are being expressed out there. Um, what we're learning is there's a lot more information out there. There's a lot more information that will answer that particular question. They say that not every fact about the case has surfaced. More than two months went by before Ahmad Arbery's killers were arrested. Video shows the confrontation between Arbery and Travis McMichael that ended the 25-year-old's life. Two days after the video was released, the GBI arrested the McMichaels, now facing charges of murder and aggravated assault. Macon attorneys Franklin Hogue and Laura Hogue, representing Greg McMichael, issued a statement Thursday, saying while Arbery's death was a tragedy that at first appears to many to fit into a terrible pattern in American life, this case does not fit that pattern. They say the full story, to be revealed in time, will tell the truth about the case. The Hoag's attorneys for Greg McMichael say they plan to host a press conference tomorrow morning. Now, both legal teams are working to set a preliminary hearing in front of a superior court judge in order for a bond to be set. Those dates have not been set in stone yet. We're live in Brunswick tonight. Troy Kless, First Coast News on your side. Troy, thank you. And we have much more on this case on our website, firstcoastnews.com. We break down all the videos released in this case, as well as interviews from family and friends of Arbery. That's all on our website right now. You can also download our free mobile app for updates on the go.